So here I go again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I was telling you about being put in jail because I was against Desert Storm, uh, the United States uh, attacking Saddam Hussein in Kuwait. I had to commit a crime to try to see if I can get some attention. I couldn't get the attention, so I called myself getting it documented in the court records. The judge, for the most part, tried everything he could to keep me from saying anything about it. Nevertheless, I went through the change. Why? Because there's a message that, <laughs> that the spirit of love is trying to give to the people, trying to reach you, the people. And, and what we have, ladies and gentlemen, is a continuation of the choice that you have to make. The choice you've got to make, and it's in your hand. Simply because God can't force you to love God. The anti-God can't force you to love the anti-God. You must choose. The anti-God is a deceiver. And what do I mean by a deceiver? I mean basically what you have been promised from your creator, God. A deceiver has gotten you think that you don't have to do it God's way. That it is better if you do it his way. And he's convinced people throughout generations and generations to trust in the theory, to trust in the theory, while all the while he's pulling wool over the eyes of the people. And when the people are thinking that things are going okay, they've put so much wool over their eyes to now they are ready to be caught in a trap. And when they get caught in that trap, that Antichrist, that new world order that people have been talking about involves getting rid of millions and billions of the population for the benefit of the few. That is the anti-God. That is the deceiver. And that is being done to you right now. And for those of you who do not believe me, <laughs> you are the most vulnerable of all. But you still, everybody, you can still win because God is there. You just have to choose God. And you can't get on your knees praying to God, saying, God, help me. God, help me. That's not how it's done. The power of God has been put in the hands of that which God has created. And anything that you want from God, you can create yourselves. And if you believe in God, you would be doing that. So on your knees praying and just trying to get somebody else to do something for you so you don't have to do it. And that is not going to work. God is not that dumb. <laughs> what I'm basically trying to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, is this. you got a choice. If you choose God, you will stand up for what God is about. God is about love. God is not about punishing people for what they've done to you. God is for, is for giving them, for giving the people for everything that they've done to you. Why? Because you understand why they did it to you. They did it to you because they did not know God, and perhaps they still don't know God. And the only God they will ever know is the God that they see in you. And you becoming love, you become the essence. You become the physical manifestation of God. You make sure that all of the dreams that people desire, it is being met. Why? Because the people are guaranteeing it to one another by the power of the spirit of love that lives in each of them. Nobody's conning anybody in this game. This is for real. I'm calling you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't trust the Republicans. Don't trust the Democrats. Every last one of them. I don't have to call them no names. But I found out they, <laughs> they are a trick. They are a trick. And they have sold you out. They might think they're doing you good. They might think that you are too ignorant, too stupid to even be concerned, and that what they are doing is for your benefit. But the truth of the matter is, it is not. It is not. They are trying to hurt you like you've never been hurt before. God wants to liberate you like you've never been liberated since the beginning. Whose side are you on? I'll let you go now. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.